All right, so we got a CVHE here. Uh, this tail bearing on the chiller is gone bad. Uh, we're not going to start it up because I'm not going to risk any more damage to it. But the uh, it's got a really bad vibration to it. It's, it's going through the entire shaft. This chiller motor was redone a little, little over a year ago, and um, the other the, the we got brought in right after they finished that job. The customer just wasn't happy with the service they were getting, so. They bring us in to take over for them as soon as they completed the project. Uh, they redid the motor, did an overhaul on the compressor. Anyway, um, so it ran for a year now and hadn't really had any issues. And then a few weeks ago, um, the bearing started to become audible. Uh, they didn't call us because we were getting ready to come out and do an inspection. So it ran like that for just a short amount of time and uh, by the time we got here uh, they just the, the bearings were, were gone verify the entire oil system everything on the oil system is is perfect checks out no problems uh, the oil pressure was doing good maintained about 22 psi on the differential our, our tank was really good we were um, uh, see two two inches lower than our evap which was great um, and the guide vanes externally the guide vanes seem like they're operating fine uh, these chillers can have a little bit of a, a lower load that they run at uh, consistently which can cause a lot of turbulence issues and problems for the bearings but uh, the main thing I, I believe happened is one I really question the overall install they did on the on the bearings and just did they truly follow all the procedures properly and then two there's a problem with the uh, the CVH series uh, tail bearing or bearings period but specifically the tail bearing is where it shows itself where the there's a uh, there's a retrofit grounding kit or brush kit you're supposed to install on these bearings because there's a lot of uh, e, uh, there's a lot of EM pulse getting sent through even on a constant speed uh, motors that's uh, tearing up the bearings and is, is uh, uh, causing a lot of problems and premature failures and they, they've been consistently having an issue with it and my understanding is that did not get installed whenever they did this job. So, that being the case, again, it, it helps significantly explain why they failed. You know, we're going to need to get that installed to go around for us. Um, so, we're hopefully in the next uh, month or two, we'll be starting this project. We're going to be taking this compressor down. Basically, do it, going through the whole thing, doing another overhaul, uh, replacing what we need to. We're, we're hoping that, you know, the, the journal bearings and what's in there are, are still usable with intolerance but we were if not you know so be it we just, we're going to have to replace them again anyway uh yeah so be, be looking for this one uh, i'll try to keep y'all updated as the proposal process goes through it's just it's heart crushing to see it you know this happened but uh you know that's why it's so critical and so important to make sure you do it right the first time, guys.